My name is Jordan Jackson. This is my guide to finishing. There's no greater feeling than seeing the ball hit the back of the net. However, if you want to score lots of goals, you should keep these tips in mind. When the ball is on the ground, the type of shot you take will depend on where you are in relation to the goal, the position of the goalkeeper, and the amount of pressure being applied by the defenders. From close range, it is often best to simply pass the ball past the goalkeeper. To do this, open up your hips and slide the ball past the goalkeeper, with the ball staying on the same side as the foot that you used to finish it. For example, Finish right foot to right side or left foot to left side. When you cut the ball back and it's outside of your body laterally, curl the ball inside the post by bending it outside of the reach of the goalkeeper and then back in towards the goal. Remember to make contact with the ball using the knuckle of your big toe, lifting your toes up around the outside of the ball. A high follow-through is needed to get maximum spin and swerve the ball back inside the post. When striking a driven shot with the laces, you should aim across the goal towards the far post. If the initial shot does not go in, there is a high chance for a rebound shot or a corner to be won. Keep the ball low by striking through the middle of the ball. Keep your body weight back and ensure that your kicking foot is rigid. There can be no movement in your foot as you make contact with the ball. The type of finish you will use depends on how the ball comes to you. Here are some examples of different types of goals you can expect to score. 